Detective Sipowitz, you've testified you were conducting a routine surveillance on Mr. Batista at the time his vehicle was disabled? That's correct. You've testified that the cartons of untaxed cigarettes, for possession of which you arrested Mr. Batista, were in plain sight in his boot when he opened it to get the jack out to fix that tyre? Right. Now, there were seven nails in Mr. Batista's right rear radial detective. That's hardly going to cause a slow leak. Yet you claim that during several hours of antecedent surveillance, you saw no one damage that tyre? I was surveilling Mr. Batista, not his car. Maybe some urban youths uh, did some damage to his vehicle. Your Honour. time frame, Your Honour. Your Honour, Detective Sipowitz here has a known personal vendetta against my client. I submit the true scenario is that while Mr. Batista was in the cafe, Detective Sipowitz hammered those nails into that tyre, causing the flat. So when Mr. Batista went to get his spare out, the detective could circumvent probable cause statutes and go fishing around in his boot. Move to suppress this evidence as tainted and dismiss this complaint. Granted. Although, if the day was longer, I'd cross file charges of vandalism against this detective. What about the urban youth theory, Your Honour? Pathetic. Recess. I'm just tired of busting my ass for what? He's making a fortune selling black market cigarettes and, you know... Hey, Seth Boyce, to... know what I love about you? There's always a 50% chance you're going to give me a big laugh. <laughs> what, you want to laugh, do you? Check yourself in the mirror, Alphonse. Yeah, make some terrible wink jokes. Meanwhile, I'm walking out the door, loser. Come on. Uh, what is that on your head? A dead rat? Take it easy. Eddie. What's your take home pay, Seth Boyce? 88 bucks a day? Huh. Buy yourself some clean socks. I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna burn you, count on it. Come on, leave Andy. Oh, well, he rubs me the wrong way. I'm gonna make his life a misery. I thought you were heading back to the station. Look, Andy, we gotta talk. So talk? Asshole but sister. Do you know where that wig-wearing scumbag hump is going to be tonight? Yeah, only the best table at Gianni's. Damn straight. Telling some chick how his lawyer made me look like a complete fucking jerk today. Leon, hit me twice. Look, mate, this has got to stop. What's got to stop? This. You getting cut by two in the afternoon. I don't recall asking you for some career counselling advice. When's the last time you tried going on the wagon? When's the last time you tried growing some balls? Maybe we should talk in the morning. No, 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 no. And let's talk now. Yeah, all right. I think we should call it quits. Meaning what? Us. Partners. So you want to break up? <laughs> No problem. No problem at all. Now get your hands off me. Don't touch me, Flynn, or I'll punch your lights out. Hey, here we come. Here we are. Oh, is this the play? You're such an easy guy to find, Batista. Monday night's Gianni's. You're such a creature of habit. What are you doing here, Sepowitz? <laughs> I'm sorry, am I interrupting? Was Al impressing you with talk about today's court proceedings? I'm with a lady. You're crossing the line. Move away from me. Is that a threat? Are you trying to intimidate me? Are you crazy? Shut your mouth. Mr. Wig says Al's coming for a walk with me now. Excuse us. Is this the money that you tried to bribe me with today in the court? Help. Stop. Stop. 
Yeah. Some sausage, some for what? You need some payment to come to. You eat it. Mm. You eat it. Uh, what does that need? Does that? How about a bit of dessert? How about some sock for dessert? What are the socks that I'm to, that I can't afford to change? You, you think you're better than me? You oh, thought yeah. you could hit laugh at me? Well, laugh now, you dickhead! That's enough, Andy. Get out of here. Go on, go. Priestie, enjoy yourself. Because you just made the worst mistake of your life. Okay, oh, Get so off me! Sorry. Leave me alone! Line him up, Liam. Hey, Andy. Lars, line him up. Killing me, Lois. I know, baby. All your career, you spend in vermin off the streets, and what thanks do you get? Yeah. Nothing. Maybe I should take a shower. Later. After. You know, if they try to make you feel like two cents. Oh, come on, baby. Go to mama. <laughs> <laughs> Here, fight us. Looks like you're a creature of having two separates. Well, you're just gonna make you dead. Sorry, Andy. I'm sorry. I hope you get lots of money. Wait. Just wait. Let me get out of here. Go ahead. Sorry, Andy. What you gonna do with her? She's got people on the Gold Coast. She's moving over there. <laughs> she can work movie world. Say something smarter than that, Sifowitz. Come on. You're gonna be dead all the time. Yeah, gonna kill me now. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you now. You're dead. Say something smart. <laughs> I may be dead, but you still got a lousy week. You think you're real clever, don't you, Flynn? You think you're a regular Einstein? Now, let's just do what we came here to do, all right? You understand my client's wanted for questioning and the shooting of Detective Sipowitz? Yeah, some head case roughs me up in the street and I get harassed when he gets whacked. He's not dead yet, Al. What? Talking, is he? Making accusations? <laughs> I don't think so. Hang on. I didn't say he was the one doing the talking, now did I? Well, what I think will be useful is if you just trace your activity, say, to eight yesterday morning. Oh, I'll trace myself. But I just come down here to tell this bitch she's barking up the wrong tree. You get nothing on me. Screw you. We're out of here. Seems your interview's been terminated. Thought we had our understanding. Lois, Lois, Lois. You were supposed to fly south for the winter. Now I hear you've been chopping about Sipowitz. Me? No way, Al. I never talked to nobody. No one. I know the rules. I was just getting my stuff. <laughs> no need for that. Pity I can't trust you anymore. I should have talked to you when I drilled your lover boy. But that's what I get for being a nice guy. Sorry, Lois. Drop it, Batista. Put the gun down. Just give me a reason, mate. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Easy, boys. I'm just enjoying some kinky time with my favourite girl. Oh, can it, Batista? You know, it took us a while to find your favourite girl. When we did, flew her home from the Gold Coast. Yeah. Thought it only fair to give her immunity, in return for wearing a wire, of course. Figured you'd come calling if you thought she was talking. Oh, and uh, Alphonse, I've got some good news for you. Sipowitz is gonna live. Bad news is, he's gonna be testifying at your trial for attempted murder. You ain't gonna be needing this where you're going, Curly. <laughs> 